Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4. Start to get back into building, but first a commenter named Mark had an excellent question about why am I transporting cargo such a long distance without serving all the industries in between? And that's just because in the early game it's easiest to make money by moving a lot of cargo a long distance and so it's easier to just consolidate a few industries together and skip everything else. But in this episode, we're gonna to start to fill in the gaps in the network and start transporting other types of cargo, like this iron ore mine that I mentioned. All right, and so building these primary pickups is a little bit repetitive. So we'll just do one, I suppose, and we will probably do time-lapse for the rest of them. But I'll try and explain some thoughts about which ones I pick to actually service. And this one, I guess, works well just because it's conveniently placed next to our coal trains, which are also heading down to the other side of the map. So we can combine these into a sideline hub later. And then I'm going to split this off as far back as possible just so we have room for waiting trains. Um, probably we'll need and overflow there eventually. All right, and let me just raise this. Add some signals and this should be ready to go. Make this a path-based signal. Get our two-way in there and our depot. Though actually, really putting the depot here is not a good way of doing it. It would be better, I guess, you know, let's change it. It'd be better to put it near the exit just so it's not visible to the main line. So this is a better place to put depots. So um, we'll, we'll eventually move the other depots when we have to upgrade our trains. So I guess we'll just clone one of these ones, set it to iron ore. Delete the old orders and set that up. Full load. Oh yeah, we use the shortcut now. <laughs> Control click, full load, and the unload all down in this corner. Unload all, no loading. Okay, and I did refit it to iron ore. Don't do it again, just in case. All right, clone a few of these. Um, shouldn't need that many since it's uh, just at 90s, not a lot but it is a long distance, so I guess five is a reasonable amount. We'll see, can adjust it later. All right, now let's take a look at other iron ore or oil uh, industries that we can start to serve. So I'm gonna use the map and see where things are at. So let's highlight uh, iron ore mine and oil wells. It's a little hard to see some of these iron ore mines since the brown blends in so well. But um, I'm, I don't want to like just uh, like one over here. This one's just so close. Where is it? This one's just so close to the um, to the oil refinery. It's kind of pointless. So we'll look for ones that aren't that close. And I'm seeing this one looks pretty good right there. And there's also a pair up in the corner that we could connect to our little sideline hub that we'll actually have to make the the left turn if we connect that oil well. So I guess we'll start up here and continue these ones. You remember 
So here we have the split with the bridge, nothing too complicated, um, and just leaving lots of room for trains to back up, or a decent amount. Might be two trains is enough to fill up that. So we will need overflows probably eventually, but we'll add that when it becomes a problem. Then over here, not the most beautiful thing I've built, but um, I just figured we'd combine the bridge for the river and the left turn. So that looks kind of silly actually, but you know, whatever. And down over here, our first little sideline hub. And it's sort of at this point where it'd kind of be good to just build a full sideline hub with um, a main line with two tracks in both directions. But you yeah, know, it would just um, provide a clear organization for this, but this is going to have to be rebuilt completely when we do double track the main line. But for now, it works, so that's all good. And while I was adding those trains, I noticed that our coal mine here, coal mine, has emptied of trains. So let's take a look at how we're doing. It seems like 74k profit for these ones that have delivered their cargo. Let's take, take another look. Wait. Okay, yeah. They went around that way. Got confused for a moment because I thought they were going to oil, going to the oil pickup. See, we have a thousand waiting. So we are going to have to figure out soon how to balance between the coal here and the coal here. I want to do some logic for that, but we don't have any logic trains yet. So let's go ahead and add some more trains to this coal pickup. And actually go ahead and move the depot as well, since we should be, you know, just in preparation for some new trains. And... Yeah, so I guess probably like four more maybe. And get rid of this. Alright, looking at what to serve next. Um, got the oil wells here, but they're just so close to the main line. Um, that would be some prime real estate for expanding the main line, so I don't really want to serve those. Uh, up here we have some... Uh, ore mines which are pretty close to each other so we could have a pair of feeders one for the coal and next to it we could have a new one for the iron ore but actually we would need let's see we need a left turn over here it's an extra piece of track um, and I don't really want to keep building temporary hubs so maybe in the next episode we can build a proper backbone hub here and that would probably take a whole episode by itself um, keep looking. We could get some of these oil oil wells over here. That one's a little close. This one could be good. And, yeah. There's also one up here. Let's serve this one. Since the main line will come down along this way, it would just, it leaves enough room for a sideline hub there in the future. Alright, I hooked up both of those and 
if we take a look here, you can see I sort of did something weird with the tracks um, going on alternate sides of this forest. And then that'll just more closely follow the a more like a sideline hub, which would cover more space, be more spread out. Though I guess that's kind of silly since it'll I'll probably have to rebuild the whole thing anyway. But you can sort of see where I expect the main line to keep going. And over here we just have a bridge, simple little split there. And just building it in such a way to avoid really sharp curves, which would slow down fast trains. Though that doesn't matter now. It, it also just looks nicer. Alright, let's go back and take a look at how all, how all our old stations are doing. And it seems like, it seems like, oh, okay, we got a lot of coal waiting here. So let's actually fix this little depot situation over here. Do the classic depot on the exit, which will hide that from the main line. And add, geez, a bunch more of these. Okay, um, let's check on the production. Yeah, so the production's going up pretty high for some of these feeders. I don't think it goes above 300 or maybe 500 without delivering valuables. I'm not sure. It'll be plenty, it seems like, though. And over here, we do have the oil and the coal backing up. We are burning coal, so that's good to know, even though we aren't delivering any goods. So probably the last thing in this episode, we'll start delivering those goods somewhere. And I guess check on our oil over here. That is also over capacity or over production. Got a few more of those. Check on the feeders. Um, I guess that's fine. Maybe we should have another train here actually. I'll, I'll go ahead and add that as well. And no need for fancy signals or anything. Just, uh, let me turn on transparency. Just do the simple, simple two tracks without any signaling needed. Go ahead and add the other one. Okay, so now we got a little more capacity here. We need to add some more trains. Go ahead and fix the depot as well. So for the depots, for replacing... Oh, there are a lot trapped in there, actually. Yeah, so that's that's a disadvantage of this design. Okay, wait. Did I just build those? Is my memory terrible? I guess I just added those, probably. Um, huh. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway. Let's, I guess, we'll just move those two over here and sell these ones. Yeah, so for the depots, that's mainly going to apply to um, to when we replace vehicles, and we're actually going pretty slowly. It seems like maybe two years per episode of this series, and I think the next train is in 1920, maybe? I'm not, I'm not sure, actually. But I'm used to multiplayer, where you, you know, you log off for a day, you come back, and it's 50 years later, and there's a bunch of stuff to do. But, um... Here we're going to have to actually play the whole time, so it seems like that might have been a mistake starting the game so early. But it does seem like we're getting some de uh, decent traffic over here. So that's when the fun stuff starts to happen. Oh geez, look at all these trains. So, okay, yeah, so they're getting stuck in this section here. So let's deal with this. How... they still hate us, yeah. Um, do we have vehicles? We... I think... We have streetcars. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some streetcars, actually. So the the way this works, or what I'm doing here, is... Do I need to... Yeah, so by serving stations, it increases your rating with the local authority. So I'm just setting up a bunch of dummy stations, basically. And that will improve our rating over time. Let's see, which one of these is better? Yeah, and you don't even need to give them orders. You can just let them roam around with road vehicles or trams, but trams especially, or streetcars, I guess, 
especially are good at just roaming around since you can control their tracks and where they go. Um, yeah, so those should start serving up passengers here, which will improve our rating in the long run. Um, but this is not, I guess we'll just terraform here. 240, yeah. So that's that base cost mod coming into effect. And we'll just make this two-way because this is not acceptable right now. There we go, and let's take a look at our profit. Doing pretty well, but still kind of stuck around the peaks here at 600k. Still stuck under 600k per two months. So it does seem like we're getting some pretty decent traffic on our main, main line over here. And unfortunately, I am low on time today, so we're going to end the episode here. And in the next episode, I guess we will build up our first backbone hub maybe a sideline hub in a later episode, and then we can start transporting these goods out of here. But it doesn't seem like we should. We need to worry about that too soon. I think the max is like 36k or something, so we should be fine for a while before the industry just straight up rejects our cargo and doesn't pay us. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time when we build up our first backbone hub.